Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBA. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed that the WBA hasn't taken the opportunity to tidy up the belt situation that it has at heavyweight and other levels. They've previously come out and said, yes, we understand that fans are confused about the situation regarding our belts. A super champion, a regular champion, an interim champion. And they've said before, we'll tidy this up. We're going to make it easier for fans so fans actually know who the actual champ is. I mean, as it is with these levels, what ends up happening is you go, oh no, well actually, Anthony Joshua, he's the real champ because he's the super champ. And then you've got the interim champ, the regular champ. It just becomes too confusing. And we know why they're doing it. It's money. They want those sanctioning fees because that's a big part of their business. That's how they generate cash. I mean, obviously, there's other ways, but that is a big part of it. So in terms of the situation, about a year and a half ago, they actually came out publicly and said, yeah, we're going to do something about this. And at heavyweight, they were going to have a tournament. That tournament basically fell over before it began. So what they were going to do, they were going to thin it down. So they ended up being left with one belt instead of this ridiculous situation where there's two or three. So it was with some disappointment that when I read the news that potentially Frieza Quindo and Alexander Ustinov are going to be fighting for the regular title, yes, that's the regular title potentially later this year. We know that Aquindo was due to fight Briggs a couple of months ago at the start of June. But obviously, Shannon Briggs, he tested positive in a doping test, and he's now been banned for six months. It was an opportunity for the WBA, in my view, to actually do something about this and thin it down. But as we know, Frieza Quindo, he is obligated to title shop. He has taken the WBA to court and through that court process has managed to secure himself a shot. So I guess that they have to see this through. But given their public statements around thinning those belts down and making it into one belt eventually, what the hell are they doing? So what, a quindo is going to, say for example, he faces Alexander Ustinov, and you've got to ask yourself as well, what has Alexander Ustinov got on the WBA? He has really fought no one of note in a number of years, but he's remained consistently high in their rankings. And I'm not really sure why. But in terms of going back to that situation, so for example, if a quindo does fight Ustinov and wins the title, or the other way around, whoever gets the belt, then what? Are they going to try do something with the WBA super champion and make that one belt? As we know, Anthony Joshua is tied up for some time, and you've got 65,000 fighters saying Anthony Joshua's name after they win. Just uh, last week, Adam Kanowski, he said, yep, I want to fight Anthony Joshua after a good spill cut. And then you have Jarrell Miller saying when he beats Gerald Washington, I want to fight Anthony Joshua. Joseph Parker saying, I want to fight Anthony Joshua. So you've got all these people saying they want to fight Anthony Joshua. Where does that free up whoever wins out of Ustinov and Aquindo should that fight be made? When does that free them up to actually fight Anthony Joshua? And it'd be in about three or four years. They are definitely at the back of the queue. That is obviously, if Joshua keeps winning. It makes it easier if he doesn't, actually, probably. But say, for example, if this belt becomes vacant again, are they actually going to do something about it? Are they going to take it away? Or are they going to have to keep making up favours or whatever's happening to fighters that have something on them? I just think it's a really disappointing situation. And I get that Frieza Quindo, I get that he wants his shot. But the fact that they haven't been able to deliver it to him for a number of years is actually, that's on the WBA. It's disappointing. I mean, and you could say the same for Luis Ortiz, as I've touched on before. Perhaps he put his lot in with the wrong crew, with the WBA. Because of this sort of confusing situation, super champion, interim champion, regular champion, there's been too many bodies in the way for him to actually get somewhere. And then obviously there's politics. Luis Ortiz, he tested for PEDS as well. So there's a whole range of factors and a whole things, uh, a whole lot of things are blurring up the situation here. I just think that, yeah, for the fans' sake, 
the WBA should make a move actively to simplify their system, bring it in line with everyone else. And really, how hard would it be? Obviously, uh, it's proving a lot harder than it should. Okay, that's it from me. Hit like and subscribe. I'm out.